All right, take number two of trying to start today off. Hey, what's going on everybody? Friday morning as I begin this and discombobulated AF. First, I forgot my glasses. It's super bright outside after torrential storms last night. And then while on the interstate, I realized, oh shit, I forgot my glasses on top of the toolbox. They're gone. Just stopped and got gas. They don't sell uh, sunglasses there. They do sell glass, but not sunglasses. They sell glass rose tubes, you know, for smoking crack and such. Who needs sunglasses when you're doing that? I'm just kidding. I was trying to make some jokes. I don't even know if they sell those there. They probably do though. Ah, God, so bright. Hopefully Lowe's will have some glasses, probably some freaking safety glasses. And speaking of Lowe's, we've got to stop there this morning. I'm on my way to go pick up Damon right now. We're going to grab the trailer that's been staying over at his place. And we're going to load up debris today amongst much other stuff. I started today off at 4.30 this morning. That's what time I got up. I started looking at materials, putting together game plans and agendas of things that we need to get done, looking at videos. I've got like three, vi I'm three videos ahead right now. So that feels really good for Joe Does Stuff. So for anybody saying that I'm not getting an early enough start, I'm up at well 4.30 this morning and usually about five o'clock most other days. Uh, game plan for today. Work on tile, I brought some black grout. We're gonna grout that bathroom that I did yesterday. I'm gonna put Schluter down in the other bathroom. I'm probably gonna get Dura Rock while at Lowe's today. Uh, that way we can get the kitchen Dura Rocked at some point, if we can get the kitchen put together. I've also gotta pick up the cabinet color paint at Lowe's this morning as well. So, I'm getting ready to get Damon. I got a lot to share with you guys today. I'm hoping to make today a good, long, super productive day. And let's get this show on the road. Ooh, Mr. Rogers windows. They're getting ready to put windows in that person's house. Guaranteed, that's about $20,000. Uh, this house, boy, they've been having all sorts of problems. This joint was, this joint was sold. And uh, not no more, it's not. Not no more. They had to tear the whole roof off and do some more shit. And they put a brand new roof on that house but we're thinking that they probably had a lot of leaks or they didn't do the roof correctly. How ironic, considering the fact that we need a roof on flip number four. All right, talk soon. I can't even see, it's so freaking bright out here. I bought me some little $20 safety sunglasses and Damon's heading to the truck with the cart. Four pieces of Dura Rock, that'll be the kitchen. 15 pieces a quarter round that was 160 um, grout float because I don't know where mine's at a couple of sponges and the cabinet paint so decent amount of materials plus the tile in the back of the truck already the thin set the grout yo we getting ready to get it today quick little story time we were getting ready to check out Damon was in line and this old couple, I mean, they were old. They were fucking old. I'm kidding. They were older. They didn't have nothing in their hand. I don't know what they was trying to check out with. But they busted the corner and seen Damon in line with all that shit. And they turned their fucking nose up at him. Like, what do you expect at Lowe's? You don't expect people to be here getting materials? <sighs> like, oh my God. We're going to have to wait. I hope they never check out. I hope they have to live in Lowe's for the rest of their fucking life. Anyways, happy Friday. Let's get it going. Oh, and by the way, the tile, hey, the tile made it. Yeah, it did through a storm and through getting slid all the way up to the, the front of the truck. <laughs> I look like freaking Neo from the Matrix. All right, you see it. Material's loaded. Let's get ready to take this ride off to the house. Okay, Whew. I can smile for a moment. So we're over at the house, it is, what time is it? 9.58 in the morning and I can smile. We've been over here probably for about 30, 45 minutes and let me show you what I've been working on. So I've cleaned up this floor for the Schluter 
But before I did the Schluter, I was like, well, fuck it, let me put this light fixture in here so we can see one of these new light fixtures. Uh, but you're going to notice that I had to mud around there to uh, clean that up a little bit. So we're not going to be able to get that light fixture in for a while because I'm going to need to probably clean that up just one more time. And then there's that. Real quick while it's on my mind, before I move on to the real thing, uh, you know, somebody had mentioned, you know, bouncing around, Joe, you need to stick to one job and get that job done. When you flip houses, you can't do that, okay? I don't care what you're talking, get the kitchen done. You can't. You can't do it start to finish. You just can't do it. For example, can't put the light in because you had the mud. Uh, once I put the Schluter down, I can't put tile in here until that sets up that needs 24 hours to set up then we got to grout it or right, then we got to tile it that's going to take 24 hours to set up then i got to grout it that's going to take 24 hours so you just can't do one job start to finish and if you're good which i'm not saying that i am but i'm getting better you you learn to bounce around and take care of the things that you know need to be done you got to be able to multitask it's like playing chess <clears throat> You just got to be thinking about the next move. Speaking of that, boy oh boy did I think we were going to have us a little clusterfuck this morning. So I knew that this outlet wasn't working and I was like okay well probably just a bad outlet, probably just need to replace the outlet, whatever. So I pull it out and I put my electrical tester on it and there was nothing. And I was like, holy shit, what are you telling me? Is that a dead wire right there? So I go up into the attic and I see the wire and it's running. Choo, and it goes straight down. And I'm thinking to myself, man, we just did this repair right here. Holy shit, if I'd have known that that was bad, I could have replaced this wire so much easier with the wall opened up. But I know that this wire is going to be uh, nailed to the stud. So there's no way I'm going to be able to feed a wire. Remember what y'all were telling me? You should have just fed the wire, taped it to the other wire and, and fed it. You can't unless you open up the walls. And I know that the wires are, are nailed to the studs because I've seen it uh, throughout this house. So anyways, I was like, holy shit, man, this thing is dead. What are we about to do? So I go up there and I'm troubleshooting and I'm like, okay, well, there's the fan right there. I can cut off the wire to the fan, put a junction box, pigtail off of that. Boom, down to this outlet right here. Put the GFCI on here and we're good to go. It's not even a GFCI in here. So I'm thinking to myself, man, this is about to be a bitch. I'm about to have Damon go up there and start moving insulation around, lay a board down because I'm going to have to get down on my stomach like a Navy SEAL to get back there because it's a tight fit to say the least. So I said to myself, I said, well, you know what? Let me go test the rest of this house because I see this wire running. I don't know where the hell it's going. It's buried in insulation. I said, let me go test the other, the other outlets. Uh, it might be because of hunger or whatever it is. All the other outlets, they're working. I get to this bathroom right here with this beautiful tile work that I did yesterday. I walk on this tile work. I see this GFCI and I see that it's tripped. It's tripped. So I said, you know, because I plugged it in, right? <clears throat> I plugged it in and nothing. I said, oh God, this one's dead too. And I said, oh, wait a minute. It's just stripped. Reset. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I come back into this bathroom. And then I turn my tester on. And we hot. We live, Jack. Sometimes you got to troubleshoot. Thank God we didn't get into that uh, without doing that troubleshooting first. And again, food deprivation, starvation is probably a little bit to do with all that. All right, so anyways, what are we going to do? I'm going to put this Schluter down right now. Get that done. Boom. I've already got this floor cleaned up. We're ready to rock and roll with that. That guy can go right back in the wall. That guy's good. Um, put the Schluter down. And then once I do that... I'm going to grout the other bathroom and then once I do that, I'm going to paint the second coat in this room, but probably first I'll clean up the rest of these tack strips and get this floor cleaned up because once this room is painted, I hate to say it folks, but we're probably going to start doing the flooring in here and start working our way all around. We're going to go up to here, 
right there to where the kitchen's gonna be at. We're gonna put tile in there. Probably gonna be starting to put the kitchen back together at least, at least this part of the kitchen and uh, the bottoms over here as well. So I gotta do that so I can see square footage on what I'm gonna need for tile for the kitchen. But yeah, enough chit chat. I got a couple of other comments that I wanna respond to this morning or in this video. So I'll do that throughout the day if I can remember to do so. But let me get some work done and share more with you in a little bit. That was almost another fire you moment, Joe. Good on you though. When you're dealing with issues, when you, when you come, up, come up across something, when you're doing these renovations, you gotta investigate. You gotta investigate and troubleshoot and thank God that we did that because that just saved us a major fucking can of worms right there. All right, let's get ready to thin set this money in here. I'll never forget the first time that I did this Schluter system. I did it at my first primary residence. So I put the thin set underneath of this, right? Had it all flat the way it's supposed to be. And then I literally went right over top of it and started doing tile. So as I was doing the tile, I was leaving these big ass knee imprints uh, in the Schluter. So definitely not the way you do it. You gotta let it set up, but it's interesting and good that of the Schluters that I had left over, it was literally enough to do this bathroom right here. And there's, you know, the scraps that are left over. Uh, in comparison to doing Dura Rock, hey, that shit is just so much more easy to work with. Um, I was thinking to myself, whoever invented that shit is getting or is unbelievably rich. That's a hell of a, hell of a product right there. All right, let me mix up some thin set, get that set, and move on to the next task. Lord, all right, probably 11.30 in the morning and schluter down. Uh, mother fricker, stupid ass baseboard. Um, yeah, schluter's in uh, and we're getting ready to go grout. Hope this isn't a mistake what I'm getting ready to do. The theme in this house is black and white. Uh, the last house had a lot of gold in it. We're going back to our black and white theme lights black and white and bathroom is going to be pretty black and white so uh hope this is going to look good tiles in and grout is black we're not talking gray or pewter or pearl gray we're talking straight black yeah so any mistakes are gonna you know come 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 throbbing out of this uh, I can imagine and I just hope that this comes out looking really good I know it's gonna look good at first I just hope in the end it still looks as good so I've already been through here I've cleaned up most everything don't mind my little footprint right there I'm gonna work from that corner on out and yeah man next thing you're gonna be seeing is that shit all grouted up uh, Damon's getting ready to be painting the cabinets for real for real we got that dove white color so they're gonna look real good he has been working his ass off getting these things squared away and meanwhile joe ain't really been doing too much i'm kidding i've been busting my ass too um yeah ain't no ain't no need to prolong the inevitable let's run this grout and hopefully it comes out stout disheveled <laughs> Oh man, all right, 204 in the afternoon and what have we been doing? I got a message for the second day in a row from a, I don't know, a wholesaler maybe? Somebody trying to get a lead on a house through their skip tracing. And they said, hey, at, hi Isaac. Just wanted to see if you'd consider a cash offer for your address or any others thanks now that's the second time the same person has reached out to me and it's not the first time something like this has happened but you know <laughs> I've been working and thinking about like how I would respond to that because a couple of different things came to mind yesterday when they sent it I wanted to be like hey absolutely but I don't talk via text 
come over to my house, be here at fucking eight o'clock at night, and just walk through the front door. I, I usually be playing games and I won't be able to hear you. Just come on inside. And I know Joe with his sick, sen his sick sense of humor, try to get somebody killed. I mean, it's kind of funny, right? Not the getting killed part, but you know, fuck it. Send them on a wild goose trip, uh, wild goose chase. God, I can't even talk right now. What the hell's going on? So they reach out to me again today and I wanted to be like, hey, yo, whatever you're paying for your skip tracing, which I know is a lot skip trace, skip tracing is a service that you pay for to find phone numbers, reverse search addresses to find out who owns uh, the property and how to get in contact with them. I wanted to be like, whatever you're paying for your skip tracing, uh, thank you for the lead. I myself am also a wholesaler and I've already been to the property. Have some balls, call, go there. I went there. You should go there too. And you know what? <laughs> I'm just, anyways. I wanted to be like, yeah, I stole your lead. That was the short of it. All right, anyway, so enough about that. Hey, I put a second coat of paint in this living room right here. Literally just got done with that and it's still wet. Um, but more importantly, let me show you this grout. Boy, Joe with this tile work. I'm super proud of this. So we did the black grout in here, folks. And when I tell you this shit was a mess, whoo, it was a mess. So anyways, bing bong, there she be. Gosh, oh my, that shit looked like the floors of a hospital right there, don't it? Look like something. Boy, that black grout be popping. Damn, that shit looked good. I didn't even have any uh, bad low spots. I mean, I had some low spots, like one right there and one over there, but nothing all that bad. Yo, that is a professional fucking tile job right there. I am so proud of that. Can't even tell that that piece is off. I mean, I can. Like, if you look at it right like that, yeah. I could tell it's a little off, but only me. I was even able to shoot some grout down into the um, metal piece right there. Shot some grout right around that corner right there. I know you can't really see what I'm trying to show you, but there's grout all the way around there, at least to where it'll be trimmed out. And yeah, so I think that came out looking super snazzy. Yeah, it did. Can't wait to do the next bathroom. The grout actually sucked. It was just a mess. I had to wipe that like uh, about 10 or 15 times. No bullshit. We was using uh, two buckets of water at a time because as soon as you touch the grout, touch the water, your water was instantly black. All right, let's look at the kitchen. Damon's got that first coat of paint. Hey, what's this dude doing on the tractor? Tearing out some uh, old trees and shit. He's running on our back fence line. All right, anyways, Damon's been back here and boom. Look at that white dove. Joe, it just looks like it's white. Well, it's a little... It's dove white. Yeah, it's dove white. Got a story to tell as well. Oh, God. This is something else. See, Damon and I, we just be working, right? We don't be talking for real. We just be working. So I know Damon be thinking the whole time, and I be thinking the whole time. So I want to share this story with you that happened this morning while we were at Lowe's. It involved the paint section. Now, we've had an issue with the paint section before. This morning, we would have another one. So we go to the paint section to get the Dove white paint or the white Dove, whichever it is. And there's a guy working there. We've seen this guy before, older gentleman. Um, so we ask him, <laughs> all right, here's how the whole thing went down. So we bring up the paint that needs to be tinted. It needs to be tinted to white Dove. I said, excuse me, sir. He said, I'll be with you in a minute. And I said something, I can't remember what I said. I said, okay. Something, I said something sarcastic, right? Because he was kind of short about his, you know, his approach. I'll be with you in a minute. So he comes over there, and now I'm, you know, I don't, you know, I don't care that you're old. <laughs> I don't care about none of that shit, right? And, and because you were so short and you just, you just triggered something in me, I was like, yo, I need this paint tinted to white dove. He was like, well, you got the wrong base for the white dove, you need the base one, not the base four. No way, before he even said that, he said, well, you got the wrong, well, you got the wrong paint for the white dove, and I pulled up on my phone, I said, ain't this, ain't, ain't, can you see? Can you, can you, do you know where you're at? Oh man, you know where you're at? This ain't McDonald's, okay? 
He said, well, you got the wrong base. You need the base one, not the base four. So this dude goes and grabs that. I mean, dude got an attitude the whole time, right? So, you know, I don't, I don't take shit well, right? So he comes back and I'm like, man, you having a bad day, ain't you? And did he say that he was? I can't remember what he said. He said I, something about having tomorrow off. Yeah, he said he had, he said something, but then he said he had tomorrow off. I think he did say he was having a bad day. And when he said that he was having a bad day, folks, I had a moment of growth right there. You know, I thought about this old gentleman having to work in this store. You know, he's probably retired. He probably fucking fought in World War I. You know? And now he's working at Lowe's in the paint section having to deal with some son of a bitch like me. Folks, I had a moment of growth. The, the entire demeanor done changed. And, you know, I just wanted to... I wanted to help make this guy's day just a little bit better. I didn't want to be that asshole customer, right? It's like I'm kidding. I just said, fuck you, shake this shit up. I don't give a fuck that you got over. No, I'm kidding. I was waiting for it. <laughs> shake up the paint, you old motherfucker. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I did genuinely, uh, <laughs> genuinely say, hey man, I hope your day gets better. I did drop my attitude and yeah. Nice enough fella. You know what? When we went and picked up the paint, he was you could tell that his demeanor had changed. Maybe just that small gesture. Helped the guy out a little bit. But anyways, forgive me. I know I'm carrying on and being kind of a jerk. I don't mean to be that. I genuinely was nice to the guy after the whole beginning exchange. God damn, there's so many people hanging out at that house across the street. Anyways. Oh yeah, it's fucking Friday. No shit. Alright, so what am I going to do? I got to get the trailer in the yard. I got to get that thing started to get loaded up with debris. I'm going to be painting holidays. We're almost out of wall paint. And I'm going to be painting holidays. I'm in this back room getting ready to do this. I'm kind of doing two things at one time. So painting, wiping. Now I'm going to go get the trailer in the yard, load up, paint. Just that ADD shit. Can't stay on one task. Can't even get one task done. Now I got to do two at the same time. All right, let's get some shit done. All right, Neo from the Matrix here. Hey, hold me down, please. Thank you. All right, day's over with. It's almost 3.30 in the afternoon, man. We are beat. We worked our asses off today. Shout out to Damon. Damon was on them cabinets all day today. I can't even take myself serious with these damn things on. Uh, a lot of late developments today by the end of the day. So I was back in the trailer into the driveway. Well, I was getting ready to. Okay, I, got, I can't go this way. So, oh, he's going down a wrong, a what, a wrong way. What an idiot. I'm gonna take the detour. Wow, he must live right there. Um, so as I was getting ready to, to uh, put the trailer in the driveway, this dude walks up on me from across the street. Now I hate to be a, uh, I hate to be putting anything out there, but there's a lot of fucking traffic that takes place across the street. We've been seeing it, and it's just, it's not a good look. So anyway, this dude walks up on me, crackhead dude, calling it what it is. And I'm like, yo, can I help you? He's, he's just standing there, like right next to me. I'm like, yo, can I help you? He was like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm just waiting on my friend to come out of the house. And I'm like, man, what the, what the world? So Damon comes out, he sees this shit. So that was kind of weird right there, right? They're getting a little too, a little too close to home, so to speak. And um, anyway, so we're in there working and all of a sudden somebody else just walks in the house now this guy is okay this is the neighbor we've met the neighbor a couple of times very nice guy and um, he's been here for 30 years living in that house for 30 years and i think to myself oh shit, I should have went. i'm like damn man you don't watched you don't watch this whole area go to shit, and that's that's sad sorry um but anyways you're a very nice guy so he came he walks in the house that was kind of weird too he walks in the house and he brings us a freaking roof and nail gun he's got the metal break he's gonna help us break the metal for the for the house 
Anyways, he told me he had a roofing gun and he brought it to us. So that was really nice to this guy. So I got to talking with him. I'm like, yo, man, there's a lot of freaking traffic across the street. He's like, yeah, man, I've been calling the cops for years. They can't do nothing because they never can catch anything or never can catch anybody in the act. But he tells me I, I get a lot of information from this guy about the area and about the house. And basically he tells me that across the street is a boarding house. And you know, you'll see a lot of people going over there. So that's the first crazy thing. They've been trying to get that shut down for years. He tells me that there used to be a homeless shelter right there in that, stri uh, that strip mall. He says, and when that was there, he said, man, that was an absolute shit show. He said, you know, you can't, you can only spend a night in the, the homeless shelter. He said, so during the day, he said they would all be hanging out in front of the house, barbecuing and drinking. And I said, well, I'm glad that's not taking place. But he told me that the homeless shelter built the house that we got, built the house right next door to us, and built a bunch of houses across the street. So I found out who built the house, which doesn't, doesn't make me feel any better. That's kind of for sure. And uh, yeah, just pretty crazy. So yeah, I also gave the neighbor my number and I said, hey man, if you ever see anything over here, man, just please call me. And he definitely is gonna keep an eye out on things. So it's good to have somebody who lives right there on our side. And uh, now we're just trying to figure out where we're going because uh, I can see the interstate. We're trying to take the back way to the interstate right now because we took it yesterday from the interstate but we can do it this way as well. And we know traffic's gonna be crazy, but I don't even see I don't even see any backup right now, which is ironic as fuck. Alright, but anyways, that's it for today. Hey, productive day. I'm about to check back into the matrix real quick and uh talk with you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Let me know what y'all think about that tile and everything else. <laughs>